I realized that at that time I really didn't know the essence of myself, I didn't know what I stood for and I had no values to build boundaries on. So obviously people were taking advantage of that and it's like once you take accountability you then realize that you are not a victim in this situation, you also played a part for the situation to take place, you know, the laws of the universe once again, the law of cause and effect. Hey beautifuls, welcome to my channel. I am Zatobe Machedi, better known as Ovelele or the Skin Girl. On today's video, I just wanted to sit down and chat. I really have been wanting to do these on my channel, you know, cute little girl talks. So I thought today is the day, just do it. So today specifically, I want to chat about boundaries. I had such a big aha moment and I think a reflective moment, right? So I do this thing where I go back to my old journals just to go check the mindset between then and now because these past few years for me really have been me putting in the work to better myself mentally, spiritually and just doing all that inner work. And I was going through one of my journals, it was like a late 2020, early 2021 journal and one specific journal entry that I came across was on boundaries, which <laughs> which made me laugh a bit and not laugh because haha <laughs> funny but I was just like wow, I'm just so proud of the progression that we have done because when I read that journal I was just like this has victim mentality written all over it. So to give you guys some perspective, um, 2020 obviously we were in lockdown and for me being in isolation really did a lot. <laughs> um, I had to sit down, be honest with myself, face some ugly truths about me and one of them was that I, I was a people pleaser, I had people pleasing tendencies and obviously that's really a harsh reality to face. I then also realized that people had been people had been taking advantage of me for a very long time and that people were not respecting my boundaries. I then started doing research to find out what causes people pleasing and I, I, I found quite a lot of information and a lot of the information was on how to set boundaries. And I took that and I was like, okay, this is my new boundary. And instead of sitting down and trying to heal those parts of me so that I can go through life with a new perspective, I was just like, yeah, these are the boundaries that I need. What these people told me is what I'm going to go with. And there is so much danger in, in being aware but not doing the work that is required because I can tell you that if you're healing from people, pleasing tendencies, there's a lot of inner work that goes in that. Yes, you can hear what other people are saying saying but embodiment is very very important and embodiment comes from healing and with healing then you can be able to to make up your own set of rules and boundaries and then embody those boundaries so I then obviously because I skipped that important part I was going around telling people this is my boundary this is my boundary this is my boundary but then I still found that people were still breaking my boundary even though I was I was telling them what my boundaries are. And obviously people treat you how you treat yourself. You will attract what you are. And when I started understanding the laws of the universe better, I had to sit down and ask myself, what is it about me that's making people so comfortable to break my boundaries? I realized that at that time, I really didn't know the essence of myself. I didn't know what I stood for and I had no values to build boundaries on. So obviously people were taking advantage of that. And then I realized that I was forever putting myself in a position that made people comfortable to break my boundaries. I obviously had to account for that. And taking account is really, really not easy. And it's like, once you take accountability, you then realize that you are not a victim in this situation. You also played a part for the situation to take place. You know, the laws of the universe, once again, the law of cause and effect. So then I had to rewrite my story and tell myself a different story that 
people do respect my boundaries then make my boundaries clear to myself because now I now understand myself I understand what triggers me because that's also another thing sometimes we walk around not knowing what our triggers are and we get triggered and we start bleeding on people which is very dangerous um, so then I then had to rewrite my story and then embody and I think that's such a huge part of boundaries embodying your boundaries your boundaries are for you to respect first before anyone else can respect them it's such an action thing from your side as someone who sets the boundaries than a saying thing I think we all know those people that don't have to walk around saying much but you can just you just feel that you should not step on their toes or or not treat them in a certain way and that's because they they are so embodied in their boundaries and obviously that doesn't eliminate the fact that there are people in general who don't respect other people's boundaries but you always need to put yourself in a position where your boundaries are not overstepped so for example let's say you meet this guy and you guys get along so well and you start dating but you've told yourself that you know what i will not be intimate with this guy until you know a certain time comes and then this guy one day calls you hits you up says come through to my place by you refusing to go there, you've already positioned yourself in a place where your boundary will never ever have the potential to be broken. But if you go, then you do put yourself in a position where this guy will think, hmm, maybe I can try something. Maybe, you know, and maybe sometimes you yourself can even give in and overstep your own boundaries. So it's things like that where it's like you need to put in the action for people not to be able to step over your boundaries. Another example, I'm going to use relationships because, you know, <laughs> just because. Another example is if your partner is cheating and you catch them cheating and, you know, instead of walking away which should become a natural consequence i actually want to touch on the concept of natural consequences in this video but instead instead of stepping away and walking away you then want to argue and you know or react passive aggressively um give them punishment and as much as you've punished them they're still gonna do it again because they can see that you yourself you don't respect your own boundaries it's like with children, I see this a lot with my little brother, it's like sometimes he tries, you can tell him no, but he tries to see like how far can I push until you know I get some sort of consequence and that's with people in general like I think we all need to be honest with ourselves and say we do have a little bit of that within us where we like okay let me push and push and push and if you don't get any consequences then you know you just go with it and I think the concept of natural consequences I only started grasping once I was fully healed and went through those steps of me being honest with myself and accounting and then embodying because at first when people broke my boundaries all I wanted to do was scream at them and you know do everything besides walking away and natural consequences is just telling yourself that you are not available for certain things anymore for example i think we all have that one friend that is just always calling you to complain to vent they never ask how you are doing they never check up on you and you know you just know that when you answer that call ziakala and if you decide that you're not available for that anymore which is a boundary that I think you have every right to set, then you could either not answer the calls anymore or just lovingly tell them that friend, I am sorry, I cannot talk about this right now or I am not available to talk about this right now. And they will try again to call you the second time, you will not answer. By the third time, they will understand that you know what, this is her boundary she really isn't available for this right now that's the thing you didn't have to say much you just had to take the action to show that i'm really not available for this anymore 
And boundaries are so important. I've also realized with my own self when it comes to business that setting boundaries is so important. I had a brand reach out to me and they were like, hi Zetobe, we'd really like to work with you and this is the budget that we have. When I took a look at the budget, it wasn't even half of my standard rate. And I let it known to them, you know what, your budget is a little under my standard rate, um, but for this amount, I can do another deliverable. And they were like, no, we're looking for these certain deliverables. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll work with you guys, but, but under the condition that you guys include me in your upcoming campaign. And they agreed, and we went on with the campaign. When the second campaign came up, guess who wasn't part of the campaign? I wasn't. And for the longest time, I felt so betrayed by the brand, but then I had to also take accountability and realize that if I had said no in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. So boundaries are not for people to exert, but it's for you to protect yourself first. And then I experienced the exact opposite with another brand where the brand was coming up to me. I think, I think the brand came up to me twice. They're like, we'd like to work with you. Here's our budget. And I let them know that, you know what? Your budget really doesn't match my standard rate. Please come back when you do have the budget. And the third time they came back with a rate that was even above my standard rate. And, and that's when I realized that <laughs> you really need to set those boundaries. You really need to embody those boundaries. People treat you the way that you treat yourself. If you see yourself as a business, respect that and protect that. And that is just setting boundaries. Yeah, um, that's all I have to say about boundaries today. But I would really, really like to hear from you guys, your perspective on boundaries. I'm really just so open to, to hear different perspectives and, and just have these kind of conversations. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of these sit down chit chats, maybe next time I can just do an Instagram poll and we could have conversations that you guys want to chat about. Um, but thank you so much for, for viewing. Please like this video and until next time, goodbye.